And uh, joining us right now on the broadcast is Yeshaya Rosenman, uh, an Israeli journalist. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Rosenman, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. How do you see these comments that were made at the film festival uh, by Mr. Lapid? He, of course, uh, uh, did say that he feels that this film, uh, The Kashmir Files, which essentially uh, talks about the exodus of the Kashmiri Pandits, is propaganda. Namaste, and thanks for inviting me. I think, um, first of all, Mr. Lapid represents only himself. Um, I must uh, state clearly that Israel and uh, Israeli establishment and Israelis in general are very supportive of the, of the Indian people and the, and the current Indian government and any Indian government that will be. Um, Mr. Lapid himself is completely clueless um, about the Kashmiri uh, ethnic cleanse, about the ethnic cleansing of Kashmiri pundits. I would be very surprised if he has ever read a single book on Indian history of any kind. Um, he is mainly a provocateur. He is, um, for his own egoistic uh, ego, it's just an ego trip. He wanted to be, uh, he wants to be seen as a brave uh, resistance fighter. And for that means, uh, he will, I mean, for that ends, he will, he will just um, defame uh, India and, and he regularly defames Israel. So um, the first reaction I got when I shared this, uh, this, um, this thing that happened with an Indi with a, with a scriptwriter friend of mine is that he told me, first of all, Nadav Lapid is nobody. Second of all, uh, calm down. He says much worse things about Israel. All right. Uh, so, Mr. Rosenman, do you then think that this comment was made, uh, uh, as has been suggested by a lot of people, to get publicity for himself? Uh, there has been a lot of criticism that has come his way uh, for this comment, uh, but it obviously has also uh, drawn attention of people in the country. Yes, I think that, um, first of all, I must say that the thing that angered me the most was, was, the sh it was how completely obnoxious uh, Mr. Lapid was. He comes to an event, he is a guest of honor. They, um, again, he's completely anonymous in Israel. I had never heard of him. I had to Google his name. And he is, uh, he is a judge and he, he speaks so rudely to his, uh, to, to his host. That was the thing that shocked, uh, the first sh initial shock. Beyond that, um, yes, I think he, um, these are people who make, who made an entire career of, of, uh, of you know, pandering to these, uh, to, you know, to these uh, AB, uh, global elite sensitivities, which are uh, both anti-Israel and anti-Indian. and anti -Indian. So again, he knows nothing about India, and he does it just to, uh, to uh, pander to his uh, masters. In, yeah. Right now, Mr. Rosenman, there have been some suggestions made that uh, uh, this was a political comment that an Israeli filmmaker who was visiting India should perhaps have desisted from. Do you agree with that? Yes, correct. Uh, as I said, it was it was very obnoxious. Um, he knows nothing about India or Indian history or Indian society, and um, he should have. Even if he did not like the movie, he, he, he should have been he, he should have been more polite about it. I mean, beyond the fact that you know the, the obvious, the egregious uh, offense towards the uh, towards uh, Kashmiri Pandits. All right, Mr. Rosenman, appreciate your speaking to us on Republic TV. Thank you very much for joining us. So, Mr. Thank Rosenman, you. Thank over you for there. Me. Thank you for right. having me. Bye bye.